This is module 5, lesson 27, homework, side 1. Today's objective was to explain equivalence by manipulating units and reasoning about their sides. Number 1. Use the pictures to model equivalent fractions. Fill in the blanks to answer the questions. So I see that the first fraction strip has been partitioned into tenths. And the second fraction strip has been partitioned into fifths. I'm going to start by shading two tenths. One tenth, two tenths. And I'm going to label that as two tenths. I need to look to see how many fifths will I need to shade to also equal two tenths. When I look at my picture carefully, this amount here will end in the same place, meaning that it only takes one fifth to equal two tenths. One fifth equals two tenths. One fifth equals two tenths. The whole is staying the same. We're looking at the question down below. What happened to the size of the equal parts when there were less equal parts? So when I have fifths down here, what happened to their size? Did they get smaller or did they get bigger? When I look at those fifths, they're bigger than the tenths. So the parts got bigger. Try the second part over here on your own, comparing one third and how many ninths it takes to equal the same as one third. Make sure to answer the question down below about what's happening to the size of the parts. Number two, <clears throat> eight students share two pizzas that are the same size, which are represented by the two circles below. They notice that the first pizza is cut into four equal slices and the second pizza is cut into eight equal slices. How can, you, how can the eight students share the pizzas equally without cutting any of the pieces? So I'm gonna start by partitioning one pizza into four equal slices. And then I'm gonna partition the other pizza into eight equal slices. I have to share these pizzas with eight friends. So to start, I'm going to give one friend this amount. My second friend is going to get that amount. My third friend is going to get that portion and my fourth friend is going to get that portion. I can do the same thing on the other pizza. I'm just going to ignore the eighths and pay attention to the fourths. So this is going to be for friend number five. This will be for friend number six. This will be for friend number seven. And the last portion will be for friend number eight. The reason this works is Four fourths is equal to eight eighths, or one section, which is one fourth, is the same as two eighths, which we had to find on the other pizza. <clears throat> 